you know, you come off the road for mm-hmm. family, stuff like that. And it's funny thinking back to the time, you know, back in what, 07, when we toured together, you mm-hmm. know, I was kind of dealing with that at the same time too, man, where I was, you know, my son was young at home. Yeah. We weren't making any money. We weren't playing in front of anybody. So I was just like, why am I here? You know, yeah. like, and uh, so when, basically when I got home from that tour, you know, I said, I said, you know what, I'm going to peace out for a little while, guys. And, uh, you know, reading your statement and in your, your thoughts about coming off the road, mm-hmm. kind of similar to, to maybe how I felt back then. Yeah, it, it's I've, I've been doing it a long time and, you know, I still love playing and I still love playing live. But I've never been the biggest fan of the traveling, you know, that I'm not a I'm not, you know, Dora the Explorer. I don't I don't right. really care about, you know, seeing exotic places or, you know, all that stuff. It For me, it was always about the shows. And I used to think, uh, man, it would be nice if I could just like teleport to every show, you know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So it just and especially having a kid and he's getting to be set, you know, he's seven years old. And, you know, I was just. I was missing him and, you know, we weren't spending tremendous amounts of time on the road, but still it just, it was just getting harder. And, and there were other factors too. Um, you know, there were some other things I wanted to pursue. I, you know, I, I kind of needed to figure out who I was, you know, like who, who Frank Fonsere was as opposed to, you know, Frank, the drummer for Fozzie. I mean, that's like, that was, that was the entirety of my identity. And I, I just was like, <laughs> you know, I needed to figure out who I was and can I just go out there in the world and, and do something completely on my own, you know? Well, you kind of stepped away from Fozzy, you know, as, as a time where, you know, Fozzy after all years and years and years of, of trying to, to make it happen with Chris, you know, you, you broke through with Judas, you broke through mm-hmm. with a few songs here and there. I mean, the latest video, things like that. Like, like you seem like after all the years of trying to make, I think I think Billy called it trying to turn a wrestler into a rock star, you mm-hmm. know, like like actually kind of breaking through to where people were were seeing Fozzie as an actual band and not just not just a play thing for Chris, you know. It, right. You kind of walk away at this point, man. Well, yeah, I mean, it's not like it was easy, you know. Yeah. Um, I, I, that definitely weighed on my mind, but the the simple fact is is none of that was none of that was uh, helping my state of mind. I was still depressed, you know, and it had been years and years and years of, you know, the kind of success that will sustain me is just around the corner or the kind of success that will sustain us is just around the corner. You know, it was always just around the corner. And, um, and I just, I, I just got, I couldn't take that anymore. You know, um, yeah, it's because, you know, the band is doing well and, you know, we it's not but it's not like we flew around on private jets and, and stuff like that. You know, there were still right. things to deal with. I mean, you know, we would we would have tour buses and they were nice and everything. But, you know, there was still a lot of, uh, um, you know, showering at you know, showering at truck stops and gyms and, you know, and things <laughs> like that, yeah. um, which like, you know, I'm I'm not a snob. It's not like that's it's not like that's uh, some kind of true hardship, but it just wears on you after a while when you get to be in your fifties and, Mm -hmm. you know, especially when you don't have any skin in the game, you know, I didn't have, I didn't have any songwriting credits. You know, I'm not a songwriter. Um, I had no, I had no control over what the band did at all. You know, I had no say over what the band does. I, I you know, it was like, when they say jump, I say how high, you know, and it's not, I wasn't being, it's not like they were dictators or anything like that. We had a good relationship, but ultimately it was like, I feel like I'm working towards something, uh, you know, or, or at least I was trying to work towards something. And I just, I didn't have any real control over the outcome, you know? Um, mm-hmm. Oh, you know, you always hear the the artist who, you know, they say, uh, you know, well, if you're going to fail, you're going to fail, you know, fail on your own terms, you know, Right. Uh, that the band that does, you know, that follows their heart and, and does the music that means something to them. They think, well, if we sell no records, at least I have the record and you know, at least I can be proud of that. And I didn't really have that. I had no real investment in what was going on. And- 